Well, thank you all again for returning to my classic Dirt Bike TV channel and for showing your continual support to my internet YouTube channel. Also, specially thanks to all our brand new subscribers as we now head towards our 8,000 subscriber total. Now, in my next featured video clip, we're going to take a look at another British four-stroke classic. So stay with me for the next few minutes as we check out Philip Whittam's 1967 Cotton Triumph 500 Twin. Now as old classic four strokes go, Philip's lovely Cotton Triumph here certainly ticks all the boxes. But not only that, this uh, British classic has a little bit of uh, history behind it. But firstly, the bike was built by the late uh, Fluff Brown, who, as you know, took over the HIS motorcycle company when it went into administration in the early 1970s. Now, starting with the bike's frame, this, of course, is a cotton uh, built chassis which of course was uh, then powder coated in this lovely black colour and is very hard wearing and uh, looks absolutely superb on this uh, little bike. Now when Philip bought this bike some years ago uh, some well known riders had already raced this machine and when Philip first uh, bought the bike the fuel tank was already signed by uh, the great Andy Robertson and ex-GP uh, works motocross rider uh, Pete Mathia, who in fact is still racing and winning uh, events to this day. Now in this particular shot we see an old newspaper cutting of uh, Andy Robertson sitting on the bike with uh, the famous Ken Haynes uh, looking on and this was at uh, Farley Castle in 1996. Now there were a couple of other local riders who raced this bike prior to Philip uh, purchasing it and uh, one of those riders was uh, Bert Robinson who was well known in the area and of course the late uh, Brian Crosby also raced this uh, lovely Cotton Triumph. So as you can see this bike has a certain bit of history with regards to uh, some very prominent riders who raced uh, this old uh, Cotton Triumph uh, back in the day. Now the engine is a Triumph T100 500cc twin and uh, as you would expect, uh, these are excellent little motors and uh, are also perfect for these types of classic uh, motocross racing machines. Now on the left hand side you can see the bike's oil tank with that uh, chrome oil filter just behind the carb. As you can see, Philip has a personalised uh, cotton ignition cover uh, on his machine. Now the gearbox uses uh, special scrambles type gears and uh, the gearbox uh, underwent some major refurbishment which was uh, carried out by North Yorkshire's finest triumph expert Howard uh, Bainbridge. Now these are fantastic little triumph motors and they're absolutely perfect for these uh, types of uh, vintage scrambles machines and we'll be able to hear this uh, lovely machine starting up later on in this uh, video clip. Now the fuel is fed to that uh, twin cylinder Triumph motor by this 28mm uh, uh, Amal uh, concentric carburetor. Now this lovely fiberglass fuel tank is one of the outstanding features of uh, Philips machine. 
Now these fiberglass storage tanks uh, don't take too kindly to modern fuels these days as it tends to eat away at the insides of the tank. Although if you just drain the fuel down once the bike's uh, not being used then this eliminates any of these uh, problems. Now Philips Cotton Triumph has a pair of uh, these Italian made Seri Aniforts which are hugely popular with builders of these old classic motocross machines. Now of course there are better quality suspension systems available out there although if you set these Seri Anis up uh, correctly they still work very well and do a fine job on these old uh, classic racers. Now there's quite a substantial rear drive sprocket here on Philips machine and uh, a big heavy duty 520 uh, drive train. Now this back sprocket was supplied by Terry Weedy who also builds various sizes and shapes of alloy fuel tanks for these uh, classic machines. Now the bike also has a set of uh, AGIS Stormer uh, wheels and uh, front and rear hubs uh, as you would expect from a bike that was built by AGIS man Fluff Brown. Now Philip also replaced the old uh, pig wire spokes on these uh, hubs with these uh, very nice heavy duty replacements. But for me as classic dirt bikes go this is uh, I have to say a personal favourite of mine and whether it's this uh, lovely blue and silver fuel tank with the Triumph engine, uh, I don't know, it's just the whole aesthetic look of the bike just looks right to me and uh, it's a very, very nice little old classic racer. Now the bike has a two into one exhaust system which, uh, as you would expect, eventually leads into a stainless steel uh, megaphone tailpipe which was actually fabricated by uh, classic dirt bike builder uh, Rod Spry. Now also the rear shocks are a pair of uh, alloy bodied Falcon shocks which of course are uh, made right here in the UK. And as you would expect, the front and rear mudguards are your traditional uh, alloy uh, mudguard parts which are in keeping with the nature of this old style uh, classic racing. Now the engine is also fitted with a Boyer uh, electronic uh, ignition system which uh, makes the bike much more user friendly and of course it makes it easier to start. Now Philip continues to race this bike uh, all over the UK at uh, various classic and vintage uh, race events and these particular video clips and pictures were taken at the famous uh, Drumlandrig Castle event in 2017. Now I always like to think that these old classic machines look uh, actually better with these uh, monochrome uh, black and white pictures but uh, you make uh, your own mind up. Ok we've had a look at the bike and uh, let's just have a listen to what she sounds like.
Okay, there you have it. That's uh, Philip Whittam's 1967 Cotton Triumph 500. Now, stay tuned to my uh, YouTube Classic Dirt Bike channel because our next featured videos will be all the glitzy bikes from the 2020 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show. So please continue to subscribe to my channel in order that you don't miss a single machine. This video was brought to you in association with Wildsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.